We start with the dangerous heat wave setting in across the globe with potentially dangerous consequences. Well, here in the United States, the National Weather Service has warned do not underestimate the impact of heat. Nearly a third of Americans, or 130 million people, are currently under extreme advisories. Authorities have warned that scorching temperatures, especially in western states like Texas, could be deadly to anyone without effective cooling and hydration. California is among many states sweltering. Firefighters in the south of the state are battling multiple wildfires with an evacuation order in place for the rabbit fire. Scorching temperatures are expected to linger for the next few days. Phoenix, Arizona is likely to hit 43 degrees Celsius or 110 degrees Fahrenheit on Saturday for the 16th straight day, nearing a record. And Las Vegas, Nevada may match an all-time high of 47 degrees Celsius or 117 Fahrenheit in the next few days. Meanwhile, in Europe, red alerts have been issued for 16 cities across Italy for the coming days. And it's expected to get even hotter around the Mediterranean next week. Our Simon Jones has more on how nations across Europe are coping. How big is that? You can see it over the fence. Battling to save homes in the sweltering heat. In this town near Alicante in Spain, wildfires have been breaking out. One man from Bristol on holiday at his grandparents was forced to tackle the flames himself. I was inside trying to get away from the heat and my brother came to me rather nonchalantly going, hey, do you want to see a fire? Um, he didn't really realize how, well, like the, how bad the situation was. And so we both got outside. The fire just started spreading. As a collective family, we were uh, attempting to try and hose it down. On the Spanish island of La Palma, at least 500 people have had to leave their homes. And the warning is there's more extreme hot weather on the way. In Greece, the temperature could reach as high as 47 degrees in the coming days. It's forcing the country's most popular tourist attraction, the Acropolis in Athens, to close during the hottest hours to protect visitors. And how you going now? But for some, it's proving too much. The Red Cross has been offering first aid, plus refreshment and a little bit of shade for those who need it. We're here again to give people water and also to give leaflets concerning the high temperature period here in Greece. This climate scientist told me he's concerned. So what we're seeing at the moment in much of Europe, is that the new norm for the summer? Well, so of course, having a heat wave in the summer isn't uh, unheard of, but what's really becoming unusual is the collection of these events. So the, the frequency and also uh, the simultaneous occurrence around the globe. Um, so unfortunately, this is not surprising what we're seeing. It's exactly what we expect from uh, shifting the baseline temperature towards a higher level and therefore shifting the odds towards uh, more extreme heat events. In Rome, one of 16 cities under a red alert from the Italian health ministry, people are advised to avoid direct sunlight. In Venice, umbrellas and hats are a must, but it's still proving challenging for businesses. The heat is really harmful for us because the heat in the gondola gets as high as 50 degrees. Temperature records could be broken in the coming days. Scientists say the heat wave covering much of Europe is another reminder of the need to act on global warming. Simon Jones, BBC News. And our correspondent in Madrid told us what the Spanish government is doing to keep people cool. Well, here we're hearing the, the, the usual advice you get from the government when uh, there is a heat wave, which is that you know, people in high risk groups, uh, for example, elderly people, small children, people with underlying health conditions should stay out of the heat uh, during the hottest hours of the day where possible. Um, and also the government has uh, introduced recently a, a new law, which means that workers, manual workers who work outside, um, if there is a heat alert in their area, then they have to stay out of the heat. They can't work during the hottest times of the day. Um, so that, that's something which has just been introduced over the last uh, few weeks. Um, and uh, similar measures are uh, being taken across Europe as well. Um, and for example, in Greece, where there's been very high temperatures, um, this is also affecting tourism. For example, um, the Acropolis was closed temporarily yesterday during the hottest time uh, of the day. Uh, people were being given water there as well, tourists there. Um, so we're seeing similar measures like that across uh, much of Southern Europe. 
um, due to uh, this heat wave. And of course, we've got the other heat wave to come in the next few days. Well, California is witnessing dangerously hot temperatures as well. And Lauren Sanchez, a senior climate advisor at the Office of California's governor, told us how the state is preparing. Death Valley is forecasted to be 132 degrees Fahrenheit, quite literally the hottest recorded temperature on Earth, if that in fact happens this weekend. So the state is mobilizing an all of government, all of um, society approach to protecting Californians and our families. Number one priority for all of us and the governor himself is making sure that we can help people keep themselves safe and their families safe. You know, it's helpful to put this in context. I think a lot of your viewers think about California and have thought about our destructive wildfires and the historic drought and flooding we've been facing in recent years. And now heat waves are coming for our communities.